we have a, a beautiful and fun Shabbat Purim service. Uh, for those of you who want to whet your appetite for the Via Hafta contest, um, the speed contest, you're, you're welcome to do that. I, I think we've got a couple of pros here and we'll see if we can beat any records this year for the Via Hafta. And uh, it's, it's wonderful to see you all. And uh, since I'm, I'm still just back from sabbatical, it's especially wonderful to see you all on this Shabbat evening. It was great to re-enter um, earlier this week to our adult Purim service, which uh, Cantor, I have to just give a hats off to the unicorn <laughs> who did a fabulous job. And uh, this morning we had a Purim parade for the preschool that afterwards the, the preschool director, our director Jen Casillo said, well, you know, it's not like we usually do. And I said, it was better than what we usually do. We had every single preschool child, all 20 some odd of them, uh, decked out to the nines, to the Purim nines. And we did a, a parade uh, weaving in and out of the cars that were masterfully parked in a specially organized way by Kim Romine and John Lesage. And uh, we've just had a great, great Purim thus far. So much so that we wanna continue Purim. And given the tradition of Shushan Purim, uh, we get to do that tonight. So uh, Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. And uh, Link over there is our tech genius. So uh, we're gonna get started. So before we begin to pray, we have to be very quiet and listen. We only hear when we open our ears and our minds and our hearts. Maybe we even hear that God is with us as we prepare to pray. So be very still, concentrate, and listen. Boo! Happy Purim. Okay, now that everybody's awake, can't you you the corn? Take it away. So happy Purim. And I also just wanted to say real quick, welcome back to Rabbi Offner. Um, so happy to have you back from, from Florida and so wonderful to have us all together to celebrate this holiday. So, Chag Purim. Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Chag Gadol HaYehudim, Masechot Rashanim, Zmirot Rekurim, Havana Risha, Rash, 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 Havana Risha, Rush, rush, rush. Take those noisemakers that you've got there and make some noise. Yeah, when we get to that part. Ready? have a costume parade because we have some wonderful folks who are dressed up in their costumes. And so Cantor Boyle, would you guide our costume parade? 
Yes, I would love to lead uh, this costume parade in my beautiful unicorn onesie. So if you have a costume that you would like to share, I think the best way might be to put your name in the chat and then we'll spotlight you and we'll go around and you can tell us what your costume is. So if you have a costume that you'd like to share tonight, please go ahead and type your name in the chat and we will go in order. And if you can't do that, we'll catch you at the end too. But let's start there. Who has a costume? Yes, the Lou family, Leo and Miriam, let's start with you. So go ahead and unmute yourselves and tell us what your costumes are tonight. And if people put themselves on speaker view, you'll really get a good shot of the costumes. Yes. So ma'am, what are you dressed up? I'm dressed up as a princess. And I'm dressed up as an Among Us person. All my go, go show them your sweatshirt. Boy. <laughs> Very nice. Who is next? Uh, Avery. I see Avery's next. Can you unmute yourself and say happy Purim and show us your costume? Not to look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> She's a we unicorn. We match. We're twins. <laughs> Unicorns. Wonderful. Very, very nice. Can you say happy Purim? <laughs> I am ready. Okay. Oh, well, happy <laughs> for her, Avery. And I Andrew, love your you're costume. not in a onesie. You're in a you're in a twinsie. Ah, a twosie. A onesie, a twosie. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. I think we have Shannon up next. Tell us about your costume. I am Queen Vashti. Queen Vashti. Very nice. Not Queen Esther. Do you like Queen Vashti? Is she your favorite? I like Vashti a little bit better. Yeah. Vashti's pretty brave too. Good choice. All right. I think Karen is up next. Karen Rabinovici. Look at this girl in her beautiful costume. See that? Ah. Yay. Oh, that's so ah. great. Are you a baby shark? We yeah. have a baby shark here. Oh, I have a baby shark. Yeah, Isaac was a baby. He was a baby shark today, and I was an unsuspecting beach goer. Oh no! I'm not wearing that costume now, but I was wearing it earlier. <laughs> and his little sister was also a baby shark, but she's very a nice. Now. <laughs> Ouch! Well, I hope the baby sharks were very nice to the beach goer. They were nice sharks, sharks, right, Isaac? Oh, nice sharks. Nice sharks. <laughs> nice shark. That's right. That's right. Good. Nice shark. Great. Yeah. All right, I'll swim away, little shark. Happy Purim. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy Purim. <laughs> All right, the Sharp family, Hannah and Sophie, are up next. Okay, so I don't really have a costume, but I'm supposed to be Vashti, and she's supposed to be him. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's ah. definitely Heyman. Boo! Oh. Yeah, I want to get a closer look at that hat. How many corners does that hat have? Is it Hamantosh in shaped? Uh, it has three. It's just a regular beach hat, but I used um, clothespins to clip it together. Oh, so that's smart. so smart. Love that. Perfect. Well, happy Purim to both of you. Thank right. you. Thank you. Yeah, happy Purim. Slater and Arden, you're up next. Okay. I am an elephant. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm a <laughs> snow leopard. Snow Ooh. leopard. Ooh. Wow, oh, elephants yes. and leopards. Do you guys live like in Africa? Um, probably. Mm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> mm. Very, very cool. Well, happy Purim to both of you. I love those animal costumes. Very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Was there anyone else uh, that wanted to show their costume that didn't get a chance? Come on, Trafe. Sign up. Yeah. I see a little piggy snuck in here. Hi, I'm a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Rabbi. 
<laughs> so so um so so trafe how yeah how how do you make your pick i can't if you're oh about. sorry hold on i gotta turn up say that again rabbi how did you make your pig? Uh, in the most kosher of manners. Kosher <laughs> I, pig. Yeah, I, I played the part of the moshkiach today just to make sure that this was the most. It even comes with a a star of David, so you know it's you know it's okay. Oh, okay. I'm relieved. Hey, so, hey Josh, is that is that a whistle pig? Well done, Stu. Well done. <laughs> that's not Stu. That's Morty. Oh, I mean, I'm Morty. Sorry. Yeah, it's Morty and Esther here. Hi, Morty and Esther here. Hi, hi. <laughs> you hear Beautifully us. done. Well done. Well, thank you to all of our wonderfully costumed uh, participants. You helped make our Purim celebration ever so much sweeter and more delightful. So thank you for that. And we're gonna continue with our service. Okay. We are gonna, can, oh, sorry, go ahead. So we're gonna do this responsibly and the, the cantor will represent all of you. Prayer is the way we speak to God. Sometimes we pray alone. Sometimes we pray with others. Sometimes we pray out loud. Sometimes we pray silently. Sometimes we pray with our words. Sometimes we pray with our deeds. Sometimes we say our prayers. Sometimes we sing them. However we choose to pray, God, we pray you will always hear us as we turn now to our Bar Chu. So our bar of clue we usually stand for. So I have a fun little challenge for you tonight. Um, usually we stand on both of our feet, but since everything is a little topsy-turvy, uh, I can't quite do a handstand. But if you wanna do a handstand, that would be super impressive. I am gonna stand on one foot for the whole bar of clue. So if you are rising for the bar of clue, see if you can keep your balance on one foot the whole time. Here we go. continue with our Shema, and we are going to pause before that Ve'ah Hafta, like the rabbi said, we're going to have a special race Ve'ah Hafta, but first our Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai And now it's time for our Via Hafta. We're going to need everybody to put their name in the chat if they are going to uh, dare to try to do the Via Hafta with a stopwatch. I've got stopwatch right here. 
And so um, adults, children, you're all dared to do the Via Hafta as fast as you can. So uh, we're looking at the chat and I'm gonna do that, which I've never done before. Oh my goodness. Now it's a competition. Nick's gonna try. Oh, and Vashti and Heyman. So is, who's trying, Vashti or Heyman? <laughs> and she, oh my gosh, there's lots. There's lots. Okay, so now I, I just want to know with our um, tech crew, one of you is doing the slides, so you've got to be able to do that. But another one, can, if when I go, can you do the timer? Does anyone have a, or anybody who has, a, has an iPhone time? Oh, Stu. Okay, so I mean Morty. Okay, Morty can time me, and then we'll go to the others. And ask me if I'm nervous. Yeah. Okay. So I want to go first and get it out of the way. All right. So, Stu, if you would unmute, you just say on your market set go. And um, Corey, if you can change that slide as fast as you can. On your mark. Get set. Go. all right. Oh, so Stu, would you do the others? Because you know that's like that keeps it fair. And yep. Nick Mandelkern, say Shabbat Shalom. Did you un unmute yourself and say Shabbat Shalom? I see your name over there, but you're not popping up yet. Well, maybe there are technical difficulties. We're gonna let Nick go after Vashti or Heyman tries. I don't know if it's Vashti or Heyman. Who's doing it? Um, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna be good at it, but I'm gonna try. Okay, Heyman, you go. Whenever, oh, yeah. stool, get you going. On your mark, get set, go. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever this stuff is, I can't read it. Oh, very close, very close. Not enough to catch the rabbi, though. 54, What's it? 54 wow. seconds. Wow, came in that, that was amazing. I've, I've been doing that for a lifetime. Yeah, oh if we're, we're going to handicap her for, for, for experience, I think she's got you. I think that's true. That was awesome. All right, Nick, 
See if you can say hello and if that's going to work. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right, Nick, on your mark. Get set, go. ויהיה <laughs> למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותיי והייתם קידושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיך מאשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם אלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. So, so close. I clocked in at 41.6. By a thread. Whoa. Oh, oh, that's okay. You probably yeah. had me beat on technical points also. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. That, that, that was like miraculous. Unbelievable. Good job. Okay, Nathan. Now, Nathan's have, Nathan is seasoned. He, he was good last year. So come on, Nathan. Say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And All right, Nathan. No, no, no pressure. But you're the, you know, you've got the, you know, you're the one to beat here. <clears throat> All right, ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Uh, you know, wow. that was even, even, <laughs> even with a, a couple of false starts, you just left everybody in the dust. 31.4 seconds. Oh, Nathan, man, he's been practicing all year long for this. That was that, you, that, you, that, you, that is a, that would put any yeshiva boy to shame. I was going to say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you rock, Nathan. Thank you. Okay, Shannon. Can I go last? Sure. Yeah, so that, so we get the Sh Silva family. Say Shabbat Shalom, Silvas. Shabbat Shalom. Okay, so you're all three going to do it together? Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. On your mark. Get set, go! Wow, 44.4. Whoa, we have got some really good speeds. Yeah. Our, our team is getting better and better. Now, we're, we're going to have to enter the TBT team into the nationals or something. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, Sarah, do you think this will be an Olympic sport? Yeah, definitely. So uh, I think we're, that's, we're done. So that means Nathan wasn't, Miller. Wasn't Shannon going to go last? I think she declined. Oh, okay. All good. Yeah. Wait, actually, I didn't want to go. You do or you do not. She's coming up out of the out of the. Uh... 
Oh, okay, Shannon. Then it's Shannon's turn. Say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Okay. And then tell us when you're ready and Stu will set you going. Three, two. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Say, I'm going to say ready, set, go. Okay. Ready, set, go. Wait. What's the time? Time is one ten. Okay, now Shannon is by far the youngest of our entrants. So just you wait. Shannon, that was amazing. And next year, you're going to be really scary. We can't wait. Because that was awesome. Everybody did awesome. I think yeah, we need I to. Think we did for everybody, yeah. Everybody did great. However, there's only one winner, and that winner it is Nathan Miller. So Nathan Miller, in your honor, we are going to make a $100 contribution to the food pantry, which is traditional to do on Purim, and you made that happen. So thank you very, very much. That was great. And everybody's sharing their sentiments in the chat about how great everybody did. So let's keep on going with our service now because the Jews of Shushan sang and danced when they were saved, just as our people sang and danced when God brought us out of Egypt. Tonight, we remember those ancient days and we sing the ancient song that Moses and Miriam sang when they crossed the Red Sea. So we're gonna get a little silly with the Mikamoka tonight as well. And we're gonna do some different voices. You know, all those Jews that crossed the Red Sea, some of them had really high voices and some of them had really low voices. So we're gonna try all of our different voices tonight. Uh, let's start with a nice low voice, ready? Now a squeaky mouse voice. Now sing like an opera singer. The Amidah is a set of prayers that reminds us that we are linked together by the ancestors we share. 
On Purim, we're thankful for our ancestors, Esther and Mordechai, who with their courage carried forth the life of the Jewish people. So we turn now to our Amidah. Adonai, sefatai tiftah, ufiya gita hilatecha. Adonai, open up our lips, that our mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu ve'imoteinu. Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El El Yon, Gomel Hasadim Tobim, Bekone Hakol. Continue with a moment of silent prayer. And our prayer for peace. O say shalom bim rom ahuya say shalom O say shalom bim rom ahuya say shalom O say shalom bim rom ahuya say shalom Thank you to the unicorn and thank you to the spider for leading us in our prayer for peace. Uh, we're gonna turn to Misha Beirach now. And that is our very serious prayer for healing for those in need. And uh, I will read our list and invite you to also include people in need of a Misha Beirach in the chat. And we include this evening, uh, Sam Powell, David Rim, Jack Davis, Bonnie Stoddard, Josh Lipschitz, Marjorie Cohn, Patty Hayes, Joel Kolker, Ken Silberstein, Joan Sidney, David Char, Judy Denberg, Lori Glazer, April D'Amato, Sue Yaris, Tina Chamak, Jay Fliss, 
Kathy Cooper, Andrea Schaffner, Maris McNeil, Ivan Cozen, Lanny Damu, Mariel Sheepers, Elizabeth Powers Brown, Ira Weiss, Harriet Cohn Haggerty, Patty DiBartolomo, Mark Potter, Martha Potter, Ben Peck, Sabin Meyer, Gloria Newell, Steve Wasserman, and Melissa Mihalko. We include also those named in the chat, all those who are struggling with COVID, all those struggling with illness here and everywhere. Our Misha Beirut. Can you hear song? May they each know full healing. And uh, we're going to do something a little differently this evening as we are going to prepare ourselves for our Kaddish prayer while we're still in a, in a tone of holiness. And then uh, we will turn to our Megillah reading after we conclude our Kaddish. And so to prepare ourselves, we consider this. Yesh Kochavim. There are stars up above. So far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. And at this time, we remember those for whom we observe Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning. And if you are in Shloshim, I invite you to please rise. As we remember Dr. Saul Basso, husband of Judy Basso, and Erwin Fabish, brother of Lois Myers. We remember as well those for whom we observe your sight. If you're observing a your sight, please rise. As we remember George Jacoby, Milton Mandel, Henry M. Rothberg, Murray Stutz, Howard Fox, Dr. Max Goldberg, Albert Chorney, Milton Sachs, Janet Kevrick, Robert Mandel Kern. John Jack Wakusen, Walter Harding, Claire Cagno, Rosabel Ronnie Rosenberg. If there are others for whom you are here to say Kaddish, please add their names into the chat as together we rise for Kaddish. Yigadal vi Kaddash Shemei Rabbah, v'almad divrach yute v'amlich malchute. Bahayachon of Yomechon of Haye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Baagala of Isman Kariv Imru Ame. Yeheshme Rabba Mivorach Leolam Olome Omaya, 
Yit barach v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nase. V'yit hadar v'yit halev v'yit halal shamei d'kudasha b'richu. La'ela min kol birchata v'shirata. Tushbechata v'nechermata. Da'ami ram b'yalma v'imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya v'chayim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael. Amen. Ose shalom bim ramav, hu ya ase shalom. Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to all who mourn, to all the world. Together we say, Amen. Amen. Please be seated, and we are going to turn to our Purim oh, Migilat Esther for the year 5781. We have a reader and response Megillah. I hope everybody oh, has their Everybody has their groggers ready, their noisemakers ready, and you can all unmute as we practice. I'm going to say that name, and you're going to do what you do. And when you see the stop sign, you got to stop. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can do that. Here's a, here's a trial run. Everybody's unmuted, and I'm going to say... Haman. That was great. Better than ever. You guys are good. Okay, let's keep on going. And Cantor, would you please start us off with our blessings? Amikra Megila Baruchatai Eloheinu Melacholam Shasani Sim Lavotenu, the Imotenu, by a Mimha Hem, Basman Hase. Amen. Blessed are you, God, for commanding us to read the Megillah and for performing wondrous deeds for our ancestors a long time ago at this season of poor. And here's the story in the Megillah. And if you hear, happen to hear the name, hey, H, that man, I, it. I almost said it. If you hear it in Hebrew, you can go for it too. Did the cantor just chant? I can tell you if we go to the next slide. She said, a long time ago. Haman! What'd you say? Haman! Let, Let us, us tell. tell. Oh, that's my part. That's Let us part. tell of Haman. Ooh. And Esther. And the last minute rescue of the Jewish people from extinction. In the days of Achashve Rosh the ruler of 127 provinces, all the way from India to Ethiopia, a royal banquet was given. White cotton curtains with blue hangings, fine linens with silver rings. 
and couches of gold and silver and royal wine and gold goblets. That was the court of King Ahasuerus. But where is Queen Vashti? Bring her before me, commanded the king. But she refused to appear. The king was enraged and his anger burned. He turned to his advisors and asked them to help him be like control this woman. She has done wrong, not only to you, but to all the people in your provinces. Her example will be imitated by other women. And then they too will look with contempt upon their husbands and won't listen to them. Far and wide, they will tell the story of how the queen made the king look foolish. Replace her with another. So beautiful women were brought to the king so he could choose a new queen. Mordechai had a beautiful cousin whom he had raised. Her name was Esther. She was the daughter of Mordecai's departed uncle. May he rest in peace. Esther was also taken into the king's palace. But before she went, Mordecai cautioned her not to tell anybody that she was a Jew. One could not be too careful. Which is nothing new for the Jews. Upon seeing Esther, the king's assistant favored her. He moved her right to the front of the line. He prepared her for the moment when she would go before the king. One by one, the young women visited the king and were sent home. Then it was Esther's turn. The king took one look at Esther and it was love at first sight. And so he set the royal crown on her head and made her queen. Then the king gave a great party for all the princes and officials in the 127 provinces from India to Ethiopia. It was Esther's banquet. All hail Queen Esther. One day, Mordecai was sitting by the palace gate, guarding, and he overheard two of the king's servants gossiping about overthrowing the king. So Mordecai told Queen Esther and she told the king. The two plotters were arrested and the king thanked Mordecai for saving his life. In the meantime, the king promoted a staff member. We know who. It was Haman. <laughs> All the king's servants bowed down to Mr. You Know Who for he was now second only to the king. But Mordecai refused to bow except before God alone. What should I do to punish this Mordecai, thought Haman. <laughs> I know how to punish Mordecai and all the Jews too. The idea of punishing Mordecai pleased Haman. <laughs> Meanwhile, the king couldn't sleep, so he commanded the Book of Chronicles to be read, and he read all the names of the heroes in his kingdom. And you know who had his name written in the book? Mordecai. Right. Hmm. What did I give to this Mordecai for saving my life? The king asked. And the answer was, Buckus. <laughs> so the king called his trusted advisor and he asked, Haman. <laughs> what shall be done to the man whom the king wishes to honor? Tears began to gather in the eyes of Haman. <laughs> because you know who thought that the king wanted to honor him. And so his reply was short and sweet. 
Dress the man like a king. Let him ride on the king's own horse. Command a minister to lead him through the streets. Great idea, said the king. Take my royal robes and my royal horse, just as you have said, and give them all to Mordechai the Jew. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, well, Mr. You-Know-Who was not very happy. I think I'm going to be sick. That was the reaction of Haman. <laughs> Even though he didn't get honored by the king, his plan to get rid of all the Jews was approved by the king. So Esther went to the king, hoping to save the Jewish people from Haman's plot. <laughs> <laughs> Esther said, If I have found favor in your sight, O king, and if it pleases you, give me my life and the life of my people. What are you talking about? What people? asked the king. The Jews, for I am a Jew. Gesundheit. No, I am a Jew. Did I call for the removal of the Jews? asked the king. Who put such an idea in my head? A foe and an enemy, Haman! <laughs> Get rid of him then. And so it was done. And on the 13th day of Adar, the day the enemies of the Jews were to destroy them, the Jews were saved. And so we celebrate today. We celebrate Vashti's self-respect. We celebrate Esther's bravery. We celebrate the survival of the Jews. And Mordechai and Esther were heroes to the Jews. They took care of the Jewish people and the whole world, and everyone lived happily ever after. Yay! <laughs> what a great, great story of our people. What a fun, fun reminder of people who saved our lives, people who weren't high up fancy people, but they had an opportunity to do something. And we all have that opportunity every day to help save each other's life by speaking up for right and for goodness. So we did live happily ever after. That's the story of Purim. And we're going to turn from that Megillah reading to our announcements, which are going to be given by our board rep this evening, who will introduce himself. Shabbat Shalom, everybody, in the Chag Purim Sameach. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My name is Stu Weinzimmer, uh, otherwise known as Morty, and I am the secretary on the board of directors. Tomorrow, join us for Torah study at 9 a.m. with Rabbi Offner, and welcome back, Rabbi Offner. Links are in your inbox. Sunday will be chock full with Purim fun at religious school. Salty, our amazing youth group, is hosting a Zoom Purim carnival from noon to 1 p.m. You've got to be there to believe it. Gold star creativity and lots of Purim fun for all our youngsters and young at heart oldsters. Next Friday, services are live on Zoom at 6 p.m. for our family-friendly first Friday service. That's hard to say. Again, Shabbat Shalom and Happy Purim. Thank you, Stu. Happy Purim to you. And we're going to close this evening with a Purim song. And uh, Cantor, it's all yours. All right. I hope you didn't get rid of your noisemakers yet because you might need them in this song. Oh.
once there was a wicked, wicked man, and Haman uh. was his name, sir. He lied and lied about the Jews, though they were not to blame, sir. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. And nosh some palm and tosh. And Esther was the lovely queen of King Ahasuerus. When Haman said he'd hurt the soul, oh my, how he did scare us. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. And nosh some hum and tosh. When Esther speaking to the king of Haman's plot made mention, a hot said he, oh no, he won't. I'll spoil his bad intention. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. And not some harm in Tarshan. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. Oh, today will Mary, Mary be. And not some harm in Beautiful song. It's making me hungry for my hamantashen. So that ends our service. Uh, you're welcome to sign off at any time. And you're welcome to linger if you want to say hello to others. Then you can unmute and say hello. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you. I'll let you know that tomorrow morning we are indeed going to continue in the Purim theme at 9 o'clock and look at the actual Megillah of Esther, uh, particularly at its conclusion, which is a little bit different than the conclusion in the Megillah that we read tonight. So if that piques your interest, click on at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, Shabbat Shalom. Happy Shabbat Shalom. Congratulations. Congratulations to all our Via Hafta challengers. You are all awesome and love everyone's costumes. Everyone's a winner.